Hello everybody and welcome back to Autobox Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Um, I think the last one, we won? Yeah, we won. Uh, okay, let us do a Lilith m run to the cathedral. Alrighty, well, let's just right jump back, back into it now, should wait. Uh, this is D6HX12MC. Alrighty, well, oh, lovely. This is a perfect time to actually pop. Um... Book box of friends. Oh, yeah, let's just walk into a... That's pretty sweet. Anyway, it could have been a lot worse. And we did get a box of friends charge, so that's pretty lovely. Um, but yes, oh yeah. So I finally have made the decision. I have finally made the final fucking decision. And the decision is, is that I have decided to return to school. So, let me enlighten you guys on basically how I reached this conclusion, not that it was any... Th so basically, um, as you guys may or may not have known, I did go to u to university, and I have like, taken a break for about a year and a half's time, and I feel like it's finally time for me to actually go back to call, go back to university, because I have two years left to actually get my bachelor's in computer science, and I would like to actually have my fucking bachelor's because it, it's really annoying. It's really, 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 really annoying to have people look down on me just because, like, oh, this guy doesn't. This, like, all of the experience that I have in terms of, like, IT work or, like, any other work that I've done is, it seems like it's ignored or it's less so just because of the fact that I don't have a piece of paper from a university and it's really annoying I get it I get it like that's just how the world is and it's either buck up or shut up and at this point I'm just like you know what fuck it let's I got nothing better to do um with my time you know besides making YouTube videos which I am already technically doing so might as well get back into it and it's just like I need to I, I just want to get this over with, basically, is kind of is kind of where I'm coming from. Like, it really, really bothers me. Oh, Monstro's Tooth, hell no, we're not going to use that. Um, it really, really bothers me when, like, people don't necessarily take me seriously. And, like, I've had that, ha I had to deal with that a lot, especially when I was, like, working at the hospital. Because my boss, um, she had a degree... But it doesn't necessarily, it wasn't necessarily meant for like strict IT work. This might actually reach it. Uh, well, if I won, um, it wasn't like strict. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't an IT degree, basically. Um, and she wasn't necessarily super super tech savvy. She kind of just picked it up as she went along, and it really annoyed me. That's. Because I've been playing with computers pretty much my entire life, so like computers are something that I'm very, very familiar with. Um, but she would like look down on me just because of the fact like, oh, I have a degree and you don't. So, like, basically that's the decision that I came to, and I feel pretty fucking good about it. Um, it will mostly be online classes, I just have no idea where I'd be going. So, it's a matter of figuring that shit out now, but I will be getting funding from my scholarship, so I do still feel pretty freaking happy about that, and... Yeah, so that's pretty much what's been going on. This, I mean, I also cracked my fucking tooth like an idiot, because I was eating a, like a taco, and it just like, <laughs> like cracked it. Yeah. Um, feels good, man. Feels good. Let's take a quick peek into our curse room. Hopefully we actually can finagle a bomb out of this. Okay, that's not bad. Um, getting black hearts could honestly be worse, right? I mean, there's nothing really wrong with getting, you know, black hearts. So anyway, we have another, we have a bunch of keys. Might as well just burn one, see if we can get anything good out of here. Unfortunately, no. I was actually, oops. Anyway, I was kind of hoping to actually get a um, discount bomb, but you know, whatever. Let me take a quick sip of my tea. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> oh, excuse me for the burp. Um. Yes, I am having. 
a cup of celestial seasonings, honey, vanilla, chamomile. I actually kind of like it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I like so winter and like autumn are kind of like my favorite seasons when it comes to like drinking tea because I absolutely refuse to drink tea when it's cold. Like cold tea. It just feels weird. Oh, um, forgot to do this while we turn this on. And there we go. You're probably wondering where the stats were. And I was wondering for a bit too. Felt like something was off. Anyway, um, I just really, really like drinking warm tea. Because it, it's the superior option to just like straight up drinking tea. Like, why wouldn't you want to have it that way, right? And any other way is wrong. If you say so, if you don't, if you don't agree with me, then you're wrong too. And I, um, I want you to leave this place. Oh, yeah, thank you. Put a bomb inside where I can't get it. Uh, dang it, game, cruel. It's a cruel, cruel, cruel Isaac run. Leaving me here without bombs. It's a cruel, cruel, cruel Isaac run. Uh, yeah. Let's see what we got. Um, been practicing singing a lot more. I'm not a I'm not a good singer by any stretch of the imagination. I just kind of felt like singing. Is what's going on? Oh shit! There we go. Bomb. Hell yeah! Um, let us go back here, blow that tinted rock up, and get an extra bomb out of this. And we will. Oh, lovely! Yes, please. This is actually fantastic. Um, because this allows us to basically get this other tinted rock. Bam! Hopefully small rock. No small rock, but we did get an extra spirit heart, so that's pretty flippin' sweet. Unfortunately, this is just kind of a bust. This didn't pay out with anything we could have wanted. With Lilith, we don't actually want to get any freaking space bar items because we more or less want to... We more or less just want to stick with Box of Friends at infinitum. Um, poop sauce on a stick. If we actually get the ability to fly, I will come back here because that is a very interesting. Come on. And nothing there. Um, eek! Luckily, we did actually have the ability to kill these homies before they could kill us. Well, not kill us, but like damage us. And big ups to Steven for giving us that dope damage upgrade, because 5.2 damage is nothing to sneeze at. And I'm, I don't know, I'm trying to be a little more mindful to the subtle upgrades that we are getting. Granted, Steven is not necessarily the most subtle of upgrades, but you know, just being thankful for the shit that I'm given. And with November and Thanksgiving being relatively recent, then I figure what. Better time to actually express this thanks than now. Better late than never, I suppose. Um, freaking dope box of friends plays. Eek. And we actually managed to get out of there without taking any damage, although we probably would have got, gotten hit a couple of times if I were more of myself, I guess. The marked, yes. We would absolutely love to pick this up. Speed upgrade, a spirit heart, and more damage. What more could I ask for? Probably more tears, but we are firing fast enough as is. Um, so here's the thing. I actually kind of want to go back and check if there's a spirit heart. Actually, blow this up. Okay, get a spirit heart. And I want to check if there's a secret room up here. It makes the most sense for it to be here. And there is. So we got some pills. Let's blow these suckers up and see what we got. So we got a nickel. Telepills. Telepill. Um, let's actually swing by our curse room really, really quickly. Nothing we would have wanted. So that's pretty lame. All right, let's see what we got. Other other, other pills. Telepills on that one. And this is hematemesis. Okay. Well, it looks like we're not going to be able to get into any other place there. So I'm guessing this is our second secret room. It is, and absolutely nothing in there. So we're actually going to go down to the next floor, and I feel pretty good about this run. This, It's just, we have a good amount of damage, 
high tier raids, and a lot of HP. What more could we honestly ask for, right? So this kind of sucks for us to get, but that's not the end of the world. Hopefully we actually get a good consumable out of it. We got a key, which is exactly what I probably would have... Exactly what I probably would have wanted. Yeah, that's a sentence, this... Right. Um... Okay. But, uh, anyway, yeah. So, other news. Yeah, I just found out that the chick I was dating actually was, um... Like, talking with her ex the entire time she was dating me, so that feels pretty fucking good to find out so that's the person that you thought cared about you was actually just lying the entire time so uh, I feel pretty disappointed about that but I mean like it is what it is right and that reminds me of the song uh well I'll just sing it for you bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks lick on these nuts and suck the dick Get the fuck out after you're done And I hop to my ride and I make a quick run I used to know a bitch named Eric Wright I used to roll around and fuck the hoes at night Running down these motherfucking gangsta beats Rolling down these motherfucking Compton streets Peep that shit and it was on Number one song after number one song As long as my motherfucking pockets was fat Why did I pick that up first? Anyway um, yeah, Bitches Ain't Shit by NWA, I think. Um, or is it off, like, anyway, it's a fucking gangster song. I just ruined any street cred I gained by s first singing that song, and also, like, um, forgetting where it's actually from. But anyway, basically, yeah, Bitches Ain't Shit, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. It just more or less proves to me that, like, I deserve better than... Someone who does that to people? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I never explicitly go out of my way to, like, just just to fuck with somebody like that. That just seems, like, mean, and that's something that I can't see myself doing. So when I see peop other people do it, it's, it's, it's a matter of, like, I can't put myself in someone else's shoes. That sort of deal. Um, let's take a look up here, see what we got. I don't know. It's just... It's just strange to see someone that you actually thought cared about you. Um, which in reality was just... I just became a rebound. Eh. Such is life. Oh. I've had enough time to feel sad about it, so... Like... It is what it is. Alright. And I've also talked... Like... If it was an earlier time in my life, I would have definitely felt really, really sad. Like, depressively so. And I have had gone through my bout of depression, and this is not anywhere near that feeling. Depression isn't necessarily, like... It's not that you're sad, it's just that you feel hollow. You feel empty. And... Uh, speaking of which, there is this excellent... These, like, I think it's um, by a channel called Writing on Games. And he has this... Um, this episode or video that he's talking about like the correlation of Dark Souls and how it helped him with dealing with his suicidal depression and you know what I actually kind of I think that's a very very interesting video um, because I can see how it is a like an interesting allegory for depression um, I mean whatever helps you cope with the feelings that you're feeling and I can't fault anyone for going through that kind of stuff because something it's depression isn't something that you choose. You, like no one says I'm going to be depressed today. It's just something that hits you, and you kind of have to kind of have to deal with it as best you can. Sometimes some days are harder than others, but like you'll get through it. If I'm able to get through that kind of shit, and I'm kind of a big bitch, if you. If you've ever met me, you'll know that I'm kind of a wussy little baby. Then, like, I believe anyone can actually do it. And yeah, lovely. Oh, sweet, stone chess. Anyway, enough of the sad stuff. Let's focus on the good things that are going on right now, such as this Isaac run. Hey, we got a dope luck upgrade, heck yeah. 
And this is probably one of the better runs that I've had in a very, very long time. Oh, shit. Well, that was silly. A necessary loss of HP, but... Eh, just be a little more mindful of that. The stain. So yeah, incubi my little incubuddies will be wrecking the face out of this fucking dude. So that feels pretty sweet. Um, oh yeah, I've been playing more Hearthstone. In the past couple of days, I rose from rank um, 19 to 12, just playing Pirate Warrior. And I know, a lot of people are thinking like it's the scummiest deck ever. And I'm not saying that you're wrong, but I'm also like... It's an easy, fun deck to play. The only problem that I really have with it is that it has absolutely no fucking card draw. If you don't get your right starting hand, like your first aggressive play, then you're kind of just like, alright, well, I'm kind of fucked. And... It's really annoying to draw into patches of the pirates. Well, like, so like, you mulligan your high value cards, kind of like your mortal strikes, or like your... Your... Arc Arcanites? Um, Axe? And you're like, oh, hey! Well, I just drew into patches, so that's pretty shitty. I mean, it's a good turn one play, but technically you want it in your deck so that you actually can combo off with your other pirates that you would spawn, kind of like a your 1-1... One, one, your 1-1-1. One, one, one. Um... Nzoth's first mate? Yeah, you kind of want to, like, have that on the field so that way you can have... First, uh, one, a weapon, and also, like... A turn one charge minion, so that you're, you're doing damage immediately. Uh, I don't know. But... Yeah... I probably had, like, a 60-70% to 70 win rate with it. Eh. Uh. I mean, the mirror match is all depending on how you can actually handle all the aggro that you're going on. It's either getting rid of their minions or having them crash their, like, using their minions or, like, their their face to actually hit. So, like, they use a weapon to destroy your minions, and it's like, technically the damage that would have been applied to them earlier is applied on their turn, so technically that's a win. So if you get, like, a, um, your 4-3 four, four, charger, I forget what his name is! Um, then it's like, it's pretty fucking good. Ooh, Spoonmender! I always pick Spoonmender up because it is interesting a lot. Even though technically we would be getting more damage, and like, an extra HP slot, I think Spoonbender is a lot more interesting of an item pickup, just because, you know, how often do we get freaking Spoonbender, right? That's right, never. Anyway, um... But before that, I was actually playing, um... Jade Shaman? I like, I like Jade Shaman enough. But the deck felt really, really slow at times, and I'm like, this is pretty annoying. And is it worth it? No, not really. But yeah, Jade like, either it's... You lose to aggro pretty freaking hard because you're dependent on getting your freaking go your golems up. Not Jade Shaman, I'm um, Jade Druid, sorry. Um, you're completely dependent on getting your golems up. And like if you can't get your ramp cards then you're, or like your nourishes and you're just like, alright, well, I guess I lose because I can't make these big monsters fast enough. But well, like when you hit your late game it is freaking disgusting because having to deal with like a 7 7, 8 8, 9 9, or like a 10 10, and you're like, alright, well, I can't really do anything about that because these are too fucking large. So that's pretty sweet. Um, I also played uh, Mally Jade and Mally Rogue on the previous season. I got to the rank 11. So that was pretty cool. Missing page 2. It's okay. And hello. Krampus, I was wondering when I'd fight you. Dodger, ow! Yes. Anyway, we're going climbing tomorrow. So, like... This is kind of embarrassing, mostly because... I've recently got back into working out just because of the fact that, you know, I'm climbing, and I'm gonna get stronger, and obvious... And honestly, the only way to get stronger at climbing is to actually, you know... Climb? It would've been awesome if we got lump of coal, but whatever. Um, so basically, the thing, like, I'm noticing that's in my progress pictures that I'm taking. Let me take a quick drink. In the progress pictures that I'm taking, 
Uh, my left is considerably smaller than my right, and that's pretty freaking annoying. Because it looks really funny. Um, it's not even like... It is like super noticeable if you're looking. Uh, like just in passing, then like, it looks fine. But like if you were like actually like seeing me do a pull up, you'll know that my left is like a lot smaller. It's probably missing like probably a quarter of the mass that's on my right, and which is weird because I usually masturbate with my left side, and you know that's uh, I do that pretty frequently. If you know what I'm saying. Um, but like for real though, it's kind of weird. So which means I have to strengthen my right, my left side. Um, just do more pull-ups or like, just do more reps on that on that side basically. Just do some more strength training. And another thing that's actually kind of annoying me is that I keep. So the thing is that, um, I'm relatively strong. It's just that I need to build endurance so that I actually can stay on the rock longer, because. I don't know, like, I, my grip strength wears out way before um, I do, so like, I'm feeling fine once I'm done, but like, when I get back onto the rock, I'm kind of like, my arms are killing me. Like, my forearms are like, in like a good amount of pain. Dude, you guys just fucking charged really, really fast. Fast, yeah, fast. Dude, are you fucking real? Alright, well that was dumb. I dodged really poorly on that, so that was my fault. Uh, shit sauce. Alright, don't hemorrhage all this HP, man. And, okay, finally. We had to focus on that for a little bit. Uh, let's see. I think Dead Onion would serve us a lot better, even though it lowers our shot speed. Because having, like, um... What is the other thing? Like, Robo Baby 2.0, having like double of that doesn't sound really good to me. And let's just pick this up. More bomb drops. I think we should definitely pick up the Spirit Hearts. And let's just donate till 5 cents. There we go. And let's go fight our boss. Loki. This fight should go freaking swimmingly. Because. Look at this. So good. And we did get to deal with the devil, so that's pretty sweet. Um, we'll pick up Gimpy, because more of a chance of getting spirit hearts. And let's just go down to the next floor. I don't really think there's anything else we could have gotten. So we're on depths to 20 minutes and 27 seconds. I mean, we slowed down a little bit, but I don't feel like it's too bad. Alrighty. Let's kill these homies. Lovely. Alright. And... Bam. Okay. Well, in all honesty, like, that's pretty much what's been, like... At least that's the daily happenings of what's been going on right now. I mean, yesterday... I had to... It's like a relative actually... Oh yeah. A relative dropped off like a giant truckload of wood. And... Basically whenever it comes to like any sort of heavy lifting and that sort of stuff, it falls onto me. Because my father still has going through like... His back still gives him pain. And... Like it's up to me to actually do all the heavy lifting and that sort of stuff. Which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. It's just, uh... Yeah, my back hurts because I was chopping for, like, basically the better part of, like, three to four hours. And if you've chopped any amount of wood and stacked wood for that long, yeah, it's gonna take its toll. Hopefully it doesn't affect me too much when I go climbing, but, you know, know your limits, stay within it. The last thing I want to do is actually hurt myself because, um... I actually injured my left arm earlier, like like in November or late October or something like that, where like it was just shin splint in my arm and that was painful as all fucking hell. So let's not do that, right? Although I do want to still climb pretty hard, if I can at least. 
PhD, obviously. Let's see what we got. Range up. Good. And hopefully we get some good in here. Nothing too, nothing too stellar. We'll pick up the discount spirit hearts, and I think that's pretty much everything we could have wanted. Let's, and at least it broke when we had zero cents. Donated back what we took from it, so let's just go on to the next floor. Um, but we are actually going to go to the cathedral, right? Eventually, we do have to do a dark room run as Lilith. But I think it would be a lot more fun for us to go to the cathedral, so let's go ahead and do that. This is Red Mom, so i to be more mindful of where she's stomping. Okay. Alrighty, Mom, come on. There you are. Not sure on that. Oh, fuck. Don't hemorrhage all this HP, man. I thought her damage was fine. I mean, it is, but like... Shouldn't we be, like, killing Mom pretty quickly? Cool. Well, we'll pick up the Polaroid, and let's just go down to the next floor. As long as we can dodge, fine. We shouldn't die. But... I don't know. Stranger things have happened, right? I don't think it's necessarily in our best interest to actually go ahead and play that. Not that one either. So let's dodge around. Hopefully kill the eyeballs before they can hit us. Alright, cool. Yo, I thought... Is it just because our tears are big that I'm thinking that's that's why our damage is so good? We did pick up Dead Onion, but our damage isn't that bad. It's just a, a lot less than I thought it would have been. Okay. Gurglings. Eh. Okay, we're good. We made it. Yeah, the ability to have, like, spectral tears and piercing shots actually is pretty flippin' sweet. Uh, lost, fuck off. Thank you. Um, tears up, hell yeah. And High Priestess. Stay with the sun. Because it's honestly much more useful. Anyway, yeah, Tears Up is a pretty flippin' sweet upgrade. And we did manage to kill that guy before we even touched. He detached. Dodge around. Dodge around. Okay. Thankfully, these rooms haven't been too hard. We actually haven't gotten hit on this entire floor. Um, I would, however, appreciate more spirit art pickups because we did pick up Gimpy. Actually, wait, no. I'm like, even if we do get hit, like, I have not seen a spirit heart drop from that, which is real disappointing. Okay, it's as disappointing as. Watching Ruby, and then you find out that even though you've waited for a week, it is a 0.5 episode, so it's about the world of Remnant, and you're like, alright, well I wasted like, a week's time only for a 3 minute episode. How fucking awesome is that? Uh, Algiz, Moon. So, like, pop the moon here, when the sun here, and let's take Algiz. Algiz more or less guarantees our victory. As long as we're not dumb and don't take a ton of damage. Okay. Lovely. Dodge drown. No tinted rock. That's fine. So anyway, I'm pretty excited to go back to school. Hope well, hopefully. I just need to figure out where I actually want to go. And, I don't know, it's a little scary, yeah, at least the idea of going back to school, for me, just because, I don't know, like, I didn't have the best time at university.
I don't know. It's a different time, I'm a different person, so I'm hoping that it'll actually turn out for the better. Okay, well, we got... So the fact that we actually picked up, um... That's actually pretty good for us. Paralysis and Hematemesis. None of them are. Those two aren't good for us. Um, yeah, we will definitely pick up both. So, Moonstar and... Uh, it's flying, yes. Dope. And... Let's see. I don't think there's anything else for us to pick up. Nah, there doesn't seem to be anything. Alright, let's just go on to the next floor. Our HP is a little worse for the wear, but... I think we should be fine. So, Womb 2. Yeah, the fact that we got some Whore Babylon is pretty dope, and the fact that we actually are able to be in the Whore Babylon state is pretty lovely. Um, up. Actually, let's pick up this heart. I think it shouldn't take us out. It did! Fuck! Well, that's dumb. I legitimately thought that it would have taken us out of the world of Babylon State. Alright, I'm dumb. Uh, well, we lost on a huge chunk of damage, so that's pretty freaking stupid. I can't... Well, at least I know now. I'm sure people in the comments are like, You idiot, blah, 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 I can't believe you got this. And you know what? I'm as, as much disbelief as you are. I had no idea that was actually going to be the thing. I mean, going to be the case. Alright. As long as, as long as we can hover over the rocks, we should be fine. We shouldn't take any damage against this dude. Alrighty. Well, let's check in here and blow the fuck up about anything. Blow you up. Blow you up. And blow you up. Blow you up. And sure, yeah. We're already like gaining HP, and then what does it matter, right? I can see forever. Yeah, you guys can't hit me from up here. Alrighty, um, safety caps, super magnet. Oh, guess that's not safety cap. Oh, that's too funny because I can't fire. He can't fire. Alrighty. Well, we actually can get back to the Lord Babylon state because having that point five damage. Upgrade and a little bit of extra speed is obviously very, very helpful uh, for us in our current state. Okay. Should be able to dodge around these things relatively easily. Okay. Dodge around. Just keep dodging. Yo, what the heck? This is like champion was tanky as all balls. Come on. Alrighty. Dodge around the gurglings. Okay. Bam. Um... I got a spirit heart. Pretty good. Oh shit, dodge around, dodge around. Yeah, didn't get hit there. Cheeky fucker trying to hit us like that? Not on my watch. Oh shit. Oh, well, okay. If we really need to, we'll pop Algis. Okay, let's do this. Shit. At least we got a spirit heart from Gimpy. Hell yeah. Alright, just dodge around. Ah! 
Oh, that reminds me! I should probably record some more episodes of Legend of Grimrock. I know, I gotta figure out the upload schedule that I actually want to maintain. Ah, shit! I'm going up. Um, yeah, I should probably, like, record more episodes of Legend of Grimrock. It's not that I don't like the game, it's just that I'm kind of dumb and, like, lazy when it comes to recording. Hopefully this motherfucker pays out with, like, something good. No, you dick! Adding insult to injury, how could you? Can't believe you done this. One of you- can you just die? Literally die, please. At that point, uh... Five damage upgrade would've been nice by about now. And I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> ah, excuse me. But like, for real though, this guy's like, exceptionally tanky. At least we have like, spectral tears, so... This makes it a lot more manageable. I can tell this is gonna take a little while. Ah! Alright, well... I hope we don't die. As long as we can get down to the chest, we have a chance. Come on, don't. Alright, you gave me Mr. Boom. Mr. Boom's pretty shitty. Balls of Steel. It'd been awesome if it was a Balls of Steel. Um, just a bunch. Got a lock up, so I feel pretty good about that. If there was a Spirit Heart in there, I would have appreciated that. But alas, to no avail. Just another bomb. Okay. This is a little scary now, and I like to keep you guys on the edge, right? <laughs> That's why I always take so much damage so that I keep the Isaac Runs interesting. It's just not me being, being it's not me being bad, it's just a, it's strategic suspense, yeah. That's what that's that's exactly why I take so much damage. Hell yeah, it's Interrock. Guppy's head. Alright, can't really do too much with it because we don't stay with Box of Friends, so let's just roll our way on out of here. Kinda sucks that we actually went the wrong way. Yeah, let's just go up. I suppose. Don't really know where else to go. Okay. Sweet! Um, Daddy Long Legs, don't fucking stomp on me, you little bitch. Ah, oh, you fucking cock munching bitch! Yeah, Mantro, don't don't stand so close to me. All right, as long as we can get to Isaac, then we should be fine. Speaking of which, let's just blow our way out of here. Okay, and hell yeah, there we are. Spirit hearts. Give me spirit hearts. Okay, we got Algus, the Devil, Spirit Hearts. No, let's go see what we got in the Joker. Uh, <laughs> you're funny. You're funny. No, thank you. Um, let me take Algus in there. If we get hit once, I will pop this immediately. E. It's kind of hard to see where he's actually firing, just because, like, his tears are white, my tears are white. Watch around. Luckily, we do have spectral tears. Yes. I would love to not have to use. Oh shit! All right. Well, I guess we're popping algas. Kill him before he actually, like, disappears. Or before Algus pops out.
Uh, phase three, come on. It's 30 seconds of invincibility, but it's running out. Eek! Please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. Yes. And we made it! Yay, scary! A fucking rune bag, alright. Dope. Pick up the devil, and let's go down to the next floor. Well, we unlocked rune bag. Alright, give me some dopeness in these chests, okay? BBF, prayer card, busty blood. Ugh, this is all shit. This is all literal shit. Actually, that's, that's anemia! This is literally like the shit tier of all shit tier chests I've ever fucking seen. This is so bad. If I end up dying because of this nonsense. Okay. Let's drop a fucking. Oh, hell yeah. 2020 dope. Alright, hopefully we don't take any more hits on these other rooms. Ah, no! Fuck! God damn it. Anyway, well, that was a fun run. It's unfortunate we actually took so much damage at the end, but that's mostly my fault. In any case, if you liked the video, please hit the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.